At the tail end of an Azuma 11-2, Mark Evans has shifted from being a goalkeeper to a defender. However, as soon as we go into an Azuma 11-3, this change is completely forgotten about and he's put right back as a goalkeeper. And it's almost like it's never ever mentioned again. So today we're going to fully explore the idea of what if Mark Evans was actually a defender for the entirety of an Azuma 11-3. How would this affect an Azuma Japan? How would this affect Mark Evans? And what new special moves would come up because of this and what new storylines would happen? Happen again because of this change. This idea was originally suggested by Commit Side in a Q&A video I did, so shout out to them for the idea, but let's dive in. So there are three kind of bases we can cover in this video. The first is Darren Lachance, because obviously he steps up to be in Azuma 11's new goalkeeper. So what happens to him because of this? Then there's Mark Evans, obviously, he becomes a defender. What happens because of that? And then finally, the third one is who becomes Inazuma Japan's new second goalkeeper and what happens to them? Let's start with Darren Lachance. So obviously, Darren Lachance immediately becomes the first choice goalkeeper of Inazuma Japan. He's their new main man, their new main guy in, in the middle of the goalposts. And so obviously, this has to affect him. I immediately see the pressure of being that first choice goalkeeper really making a weight on Darren's shoulders. Darren isn't that confident of a guy generally. And I mean, his whole storyline in Zoom 11 3, like before we even make this change, is about being in Mark's shadow. So I think the idea of him being this main goalkeeper, having been chosen over Mark, will only make him more so feel like he's in Mark's shadow, like, because everything he does will obviously be compared to, well, why isn't Mark just starting in goal anyway? And obviously, over the course of the season, he'll develop his own voice and his own confidence in kind of a more extreme way of what he actually did in Inazuma 11-3. And also, maybe for fun, we can throw in a rivalry with Mark and Dylan in the similar way that Mark had a rivalry with Paolo. So I mean, obviously, by Mark, I meant Mark Kruger and for who Darren could have a rivalry with. Just some fun characters, so to create an interesting conflict in one of the matches. In terms of special moves, I imagine Darren would obviously keep Fiend Hand, and his new theme would obviously be this kind of devil theme. Against um, Mark and Dylan in America, maybe he gets like some sword-based devil move, where it's this devil guy on with wings and a sword, and he like slashes through the ball. Something cute like that. And then in the final battle against Little Gigant, maybe he gets of like God Catch, because I'm assuming he would, you know, he'd still, he'd like get kind of trained by David Evans a bit. Maybe he, along like Mark, would help him learn God Catch, but then Darren ends up adding his own aspect to it, and it becomes God and Devil Catch. And it's like Fiend Hand plus God Catch, like combined into an ultimate combo. I think there'd be some really interesting potential with Darren kind of becoming a far more confident version of himself because he's the first choice. And I do feel like it was always hinted that Darren could like surpass Mark overall and become a better goalkeeper. And it'd be nice to see him kind of fulfill that prophecy. As for Mark Evans, well, obviously his storyline would all be all about figuring out why he's being played as defender. For context, my plan for this would be that Coach Travis would just kind of, in the ballsy, risky, mysterious, vague way Coach Travis does, would be like, you're now a defender, deal with it. Um, and he would play Mark Evans there for some tactical reason, I, I don't know. But Mark would obviously have to figure out why. He'd be a bit insecure about not quite living up to that. Because obviously, I mean, you've got Jack Wallside, the man, the myth, the mountain, playing in defense. So why is Mark Evans playing alongside him? Why is he being played out of position? And it'd be all about figuring out that. More insecurities. I feel like Mark would struggle to reach the level he really wants to be. He'd feel like the fact he's being played as defender is, is holding him back before thinking that he's holding himself back. There'd be a lot of confidence issues going on. And especially the fact that, you know, he's struggling to adapt to this new position would mean he'd really feel like he's not living up to his grandpa legacy, especially when on the world stage. But eventually he would adapt to this more libero type role, this ball playing defender, um, and I feel like he would get a new dribbling move. Dimensional Dribble is the name I'm going for. It's a very bad name. Um, it would be like Dimensional Hand. He, like, I imagine he runs forward um, and then he like creates this the yellow shield around him, like the yellow dome type thing and he like releases it and it explodes slightly, sending a, like a, opposing players 
blowing them away so he can run right past them. And then obviously he would need a blocking move if he's a defender. And I imagine, I don't have a name for it, but like a Megaton head style fist appears in, her, uh, like a, in front of him. And then he jumps up and it crushes the opponents. He slams it down, a la Divine Stamp. Then obviously his rivalry with Hector would continue, except it would be slightly different. Obviously, instead of being a goalkeeper versus goalkeeper, it's now kind of um, defender who also occasionally shoots and scores goals versus goalkeeper. So I imagine what would happen is Mark would evolve Megaton Head into Gigaton Head and score versus Hector with Gigaton Head. And maybe even Gigaton Head would stop X-Blast or be part of what stops X-Blast. Maybe Darren's move gets broken in the end and there's Mark on the back line stopping it with Gigaton Head. Something cute like that, who knows. And then thirdly, we obviously have the new backup goalkeeper, who my choice is... Dave Quagmire. I mean, I think it's quite obvious. I can't imagine anyone else who would really take up this position, Dave Quagmire. I mean, there's Joe King, but I like Joe King as the Neo Japan goalkeeper. I think he suits that more. And I think Dave Quagmire um, can create some interesting storylines. For example, I think his whole thing would be about pushing himself. He'd want that number one position bad. And he would push himself like crazy to get it to the point where he's, you know, like breaking his body doing it. Think Nathan season two. And so when he's eventually played in a match, like it could be the Empire, it could be whatever, who knows what match, but he's played in a match. He would use a new special move, but a special move that would be so powerful and so ridiculously like OP and broken that it literally tears his body in pieces and, and he like pulls muscles and breaks bones or whatever. And, and he's, he's like taken out the team because he's so injured. And maybe this move is like, he uses wormhole so strong that it summons a planet and he throws the planet into the shot. You know what I mean? Something ridiculously OP and over the top. Think obviously the, um, what's his name? The captain in Ares who bre like breaks his leg doing victory line, that kind of stuff. And then to replace Dave Quagmire, I mean, Mark Evans is a backup goalkeeper, you could argue. But if, I, I don't know who there would be the other backup goalkeeper. I guess maybe Joe King, depending on how late it is. Uh, yeah, sure, Joe King, why not? No, it's the keeper from Wild. He's gonna make his bloody Inazuma Japan debut. Obviously, Neo Japan, we need a new captain. And I think it should be Bellatrix. Honestly, I think Bellatrix should have been in Neo Japan anyway. And I think um, Bellatrix being their new leader would add an interesting angle to it of why. Why can't the girls play? And I think that would be a cool new angle to add to Neo Japan. Maybe throw in some other uh, female players into that actual team. But yeah, that's the changes I think would happen to an Azuma Island 3 if Mark Evans was a defender. What do you guys think? And did you enjoy this kind of video? I really want to talk about more what ifs in Zoom 11 and create our own hypothetical seasons. I think there's so much um, potential for storylines and I'd love to do more videos like this. So if you, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one and peace out.